good morning guys welcome back to my channel today I'm showing you how to make one of my specialties <laughs> and to show you that my skills don't just limit themselves to the stove I can make food in the microwave so that's what I'm doing today I'll be making all my meals in the microwave because it was a lazy day that day and I was really tired and I just had to nap time and the meals that I'll be making are oats well because you know it's easy to make oats in my microwave pasta and a potato salad because those are the three meals that I had on this special day when I decided that the stove was just not gonna cut it so let's get into the video um first of all I put in my oats in a bowl then I put in some ginger spice you know to spice things up and because I've been having a stomach ache and also I love the taste mixed with some cinnamon and a pinch of salt what I like about um, having cinnamon and ginger in my oats is that it reminds me so much of cozy days, especially because it's been cold nowadays in Pretoria. So um, yeah, I really advise that you guys try and flavor up your oats so you don't have it boring and you don't find oats tasteless or whatever or not delicious because you can absolutely make your oats to be absolutely delicious. If you can just be versatile and creative with your flavorings next I put in some hot water in my oats um, how much water I put in is usually you know not too much just quarter of an inch over the oats um, but not too little either because I don't want the oats to be too dry and then I walked over to the microwave because it's on the other side of Africa and in it goes cook that for two minutes take it out mix it up and put it back for another minute until it is done and I have test week this week so I have all my tests and all my assignments due in one week so the lecturers decided you know wonderfully they conspired against us and decided to put all our tests and assignments in one week what a wonderful idea isn't it so yeah that is why I decided that I was not going to cook my food on the stove top because it does take long especially because it's an electric stove and I was just gonna do it in the microwave and then I figured I might as well show you guys how to cook meals in the microwave for those of you that are not skilled like I am <laughs> um, yeah and today my first meal of the day is oats because it's easy and delicious and you can make it to taste like anything I decided to add in some ginger and some cinnamon I'm also going to be adding in some blueberry and peanut butter and yeah, I'm really excited to top that off with some soy milk. So that's my first meal of the day. And that is my oats done. Then while it is still hot, I topped it off with some blueberries. This also helps to cool it down because my blueberries are frozen. And then I added in some peanut butter. Um, I was really struggling because I was using one hand. And since it's been cold, the peanut butter hasn't been as melty melty. <laughs> that even a word as it usually is but I'm sure you guys can see how divine this peanut butter is anyway um, I added in a teaspoon of peanut butter in there or well, maybe I added more who knows <laughs> um, and I mixed that all up just to make it nice and creamy and then, then I topped my oats off with some more blueberries and some very very creamy and thick soy milk might I add this new brand that I've been trying called simple truth has very very thick soy milk so yeah um that really helps to amp up the flavor of this oats because adding soy milk is a very important ritualistic step of this oat eating of mine and also some muesli slash granola that i made the other day um just for some crunch and variety in textures so yeah okay my next meal that i'll be having for dinner is potatoes I'll be making potatoes, steamed potatoes in the microwave and with that I will use some green pepper, half a carrot, a quarter of an onion and seasoning it with some smoked Spanish paprika, some white pepper, some garlic pepper and my sauce. It will be my garlic, chili and ginger paste, my mayonnaise and olive oil and lastly some zest of a lemon to make a beautiful 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 potato salad and i'm going to show you how to do that now i'm going to half all your potatoes and add them face down next we'll be adding in now because this has salt in it it's seasoning and even says at the back 
this is an all-in-one seasoning do not pre-salt food um, I'm going to be using this to salt my potatoes also to add up some flavor Just about half a teaspoon and then I'll be adding in some hot water because remember we're steaming our potatoes just a quarter of an inch so it shouldn't cover the potatoes fully um, because you don't want your potatoes to be covered in the water you just want them to steam so about that much and then we're gonna put it in the microwave next it's really hot I don't know I'm doing this you want to turn them around just so that the other side cooks as well what I like about this is since the potatoes are really small they won't take they won't even take they won't even take a second to cook um, so yeah that's, that's what we're, we're banking on here after turning them around like that we're gonna put them back in the microwave for an additional 10 minutes and then should be done. and now the potatoes are done in fact they even dry at the top because they're so cooked I like it I love it mine and like for potato salad I don't like my potatoes to be like over overcooked you understand so this is perfect and now we're gonna move on to our next step and next we're gonna mix in our sauce and in there I have an eighth cup of my liquid that I reserve from the potatoes because it also has the the seasoning in it and I don't want to have to add more so yeah and also we're gonna thin it down with some water but it's flavorful so you see it's more impactful then we have two tablespoons of mayonnaise um, half a teaspoon of lemon zest a quarter teaspoon of white pepper and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika as well as half a teaspoon of the garlic ginger and chili paste and then I'm going to give that a mix and put it in here next I'll be putting in a little bit of olive oil about a tablespoon just you know for I actually don't know why I'm adding an olive oil in here I could have done without it but I, I added it in anyway okay and then after it's mixed in pretty nicely I already added in my my green pepper carrot and onion and in goes the sauce And then we're gonna give that a mix and serve. And we're done. Next, I will be making my pasta. What showing you how to make it because I really did make it. Ha. Um, and the first step to making this delicious, delicious, very easy meal that I made in the microwave is you need your pasta first. Um, I put in my pasta in a bowl. Um, preferably a glass bowl that can go in the microwave but I only had a plastic bowl and it's fine because my bowl is BPA free so <laughs> um, and then you want to cover your pasta with boiling hot water and then put it in the microwave for five minutes um, yeah the reason why I put it in for five minutes was because I wanted it to go in and then take it out and mix it and then put it back in for another five minutes instead of putting it for the full 10 minutes that I otherwise would have put it in for um, yeah so that's what I'm doing here and just a point just because you're making pasta in the microwave doesn't mean you have the right to skip the step of salting your water please salt your pasta water this is not just limited to stovetop salting your pasta water does not discriminate to your method of cooking your pasta anyway um, I use these seasonings to you know add some flavor to my meal and I particularly use this one that I'm holding up now the rosemary and olive seasoning to salt my pasta water um, and that helped to add in a little bit more than just salt would have done otherwise my additional ingredients are a tin of baked beans some frozen vegetables sliced up red chili as well as some sliced up green onion and parsley um, some garlic ginger and chili paste as well as some tomato paste and to top it all off I'm also going to be adding in two of those very delicious sausages that were also made in the microwave and lastly some nutritional yeast so seasonings one teaspoon of cumin half a teaspoon of garlic and herb seasoning half a teaspoon of rosemary and olive seasoning half a teaspoon of garlic and black pepper seasoning one teaspoon of mixed herbs and then add the rest of your ingredients in the bowl I will give you measurements exactly and 
baked beans and lastly I also decided that I was going to save some pasta water because I always do and this is about half a cup of pasta water that I'm adding in here it's actually not going to be too much if you think it's going to be too much water don't worry it will evaporate and it will really help to cook the ingredients nicely in the microwave because you don't want your pasta to be too dry and then I put that in for two extra minutes until it was nice and delicious and looking like that after it was cooked I just mixed it around to ensure that the sauce at the bottom see the pasta water really helps um, would then be mixed at the top because some of them were dry at the top and then I served it in a bowl and voila it was so good guys this meal was so delicious like I don't know it might not look the fanciest I don't know but you know that's student meals for you sometimes you don't have that time we don't have time okay and I topped it off with some spring onion I reserved some for decorative purposes and my sausage that I also made in the microwave um, the sausage is really good it's red onion and rosemary so it really complemented um, the flavor of the dish really well as well because you know I put in rosemary in there and some herbs and then lastly I topped it off with some parsley actually this is not lastly I lie I also added in some nutritional yeast <laughs> because I actually forgot um, yeah I forgot I added in some nutritional yeast as well and then we can say lastly I dug in and I enjoyed thoroughly like thoroughly enjoyed who knew that microwave could be this wonderful um as you can see this meal was very easy to make it was so simple guys like just look at that look at the sauce around the pasta look at you can be creative you know you don't need all the fancy gadgets you don't need your air fryer i feel like i need my air fryer but you don't need your your stuff okay you can just rely on the microwave and wow i've i feel like i've discovered a new world out there there's hope to life there's there are many possibilities <laughs>